Hey, Clean Impact team. Hope everybody is doing well, having a good day, great day, beautiful day, morning, night, whatever time it is you're watching this, just as long as within them seven days. And today is going to be a little video about high touch surfaces. Now, I'm probably going to start it like a little new segment or, you know, series where I do you know I, I show examples of tips and tricks and stuff like that i mean so if you guys are into that you know let me know i mean regardless i'm going to do it but you know so today is high touch surfaces now if you don't know what high touch surfaces is or are familiar with the phrase it is surfaces or an area or something that you know is 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 touched a lot it goes through a lot of hand traffic so for example a wood table at um urban league they have those shiny wood tables and right above those shiny wood tables the light the light shines down on it so when you come in on a fresh you know fresh day before you start your clean you can see the you can see the fingerprints and all type of stuff on the table because why because i mean it's getting touched a lot hands is greasy regardless if your hands is dirty you know your hands is, you know you got oil in your hands regardless unless your hands is butt bone dry you know so i'm gonna show you all some examples of some high touch surfaces and also high touch surfaces it's it's a it's different it's different things that are, you know, are everyday clean. And then there's things that are special task cleans. And then there's things that are extra time task clean. But regardless, they're high touch surfaces and they should be getting clean somewhat regularly, you know, depending on, you know, extra time tasks. So like I said, the extra time task ones, those ones aren't gonna be, you know, the ones that get cleaned every day. But here and there, it doesn't hurt to go through and, you know, clean those. So let's jump right, into these. So back. So this is a desk. High touch services. All desks are high touch services because uh, there's a person sitting here eight hours a day. And on their, on their computer, laptop, whatever case may be, and they're doing a lot of touching, some eating, snacking drinking stuff like that so i know if i can see on the camera i'm not even looking at this table with my own eyes i'm looking at the table through the camera if the camera catches this i know anybody else can not saying that not pointing any fingers and saying that people don't but i'm just saying like this is an example now a lot of people get confused about the desk situation so this is not a cluttered desk. You would you would need to clean this. You would have to clean this. This is not a, cl a cluttered desk. We don't clean cluttered desks cuz we don't want to get in the in the way of moving people papers, you know, important stuff on the desk, important documents. We ain't fooling with that, you know. But if it looks like this, yes sir, it gets clean. Yeah, you got to clean that. Next example, doorknobs. Now, doorknobs is, I've seen like, you know, from my cleaning experience, it is a special time task. Now on some people's checklist, it could be an extra time task, depending on your building. But this is a special task. I mean, and, and I've even seen people like, after they're done doing their section in their room or whatever, they just naturally hit the doorknobs on the way out. Some people just do that naturally. Just keep in mind that, hey, there's a lot of traffic going through these. A lot of, a lot of germs going around. Special, it's, it's times where people are sick, you know. So it's like, just keep in mind that, you know, these can be hit often. Not so, not, not very often. Just keep in mind that these can be hit every so, you know, every now and then. <clears throat> not 
not too long, you know, of a gap in between, but like, it's cool every now and then to hit the, you know, say like if I got a building five days a week, okay, two days a week of hitting a doorknob is cool if it's not on your, you know, special task or extra time task. All right, so now we're at light switches. Now light switches are commonly like an extra time task type of thing, you know? But it's a high touch, you know, surface, high touch area. When it comes to these, all you really have to do, boom, boom, boom. It don't really take no, no extra detailing work. Only detailing work that you probably have to do on these is sometimes it's a little dust that, you know, that sits up there. But other than that, that's just being remarkable. Just by wiping the, you know, the, the, the switches now. Cause those are, that's like, you know, if you think about it, that's like touching a doorknob. You flick on the switch every room you walk in if it ain't on. You open a door every room you walk in if it ain't open, you know, right? You know, right? So just keep that in mind. Like, you know, it's, it's a, you can hit these. Now it ain't mandatory, like I said, but it's, a, it's most of the time it's an extra time task. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. Now, coffee pots or coffee makers, these are very much high traffic, high touch, high value. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's coffee right here. Now, some people who do, you know, wipe the coffee thing, coffee bars down, they are clean around this area or this area. But forget about this area, this little back plate or whatever. That needs to get hit too. If you're going to hit one thing, hit all of it. And this is something that needs to be cleaned. This is like an everyday thing. Now, this isn't no extra time task, special task. If you clean in the kitchen, you should be cleaning this. Another high touch. If you clean in the kitchen, you should be cleaning this. Simple as that. <laughs> Now, with these black refrigerators, uh, I typically would just hit the handles. This stuff you don't gotta really worry about, you know, like the outside panels. But as far as like the lights and stuff, and you know, the handles, it's a high touch surface. It's a high touch area. People come in, they get water, they get ice, they open the refrigerator, all day long, eight hours, you know, that's high touch. Somebody probably came in here, scratched their butt. Somebody probably came here, dug in their nose. You know, somebody came here, scratched their feet and touched it. And then, then what? You didn't clean it. Now, now somebody, now Jim coming to work tomorrow, wondering why he's sneezing like, like heck. <laughs> Got the sniffles and stuff because he didn't touch the, touch the high touch surface that ain't been cleaned in so long. And, Last person probably touched and touched their butt. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, you got counters. This goes along with the desk. Desk and tables. You know, like I said, clutterness. You ain't got to worry about it. If it ain't cluttered open space like this, then yes, it gets wiped down. I know if you haven't wiped because all I gotta do is do this. All I gotta do is do this. And you know what I'm gonna see on my hand? Salt, sugar, pepper, all that. So that's my little spiel today on high touch surfaces. I explained to you some ones that you should do every day. And I explained some ones that you should do on your special task days. I explained some that you should do on, um, extra time task. So, just keep that in mind, keep that close to your cranium, you know, and when I do these videos, these videos aren't intended to target anybody. This video is targeting everybody. This video is targeting everybody. Rather you do it or rather you don't do it. Regardless, we gotta keep your mind and we gotta keep, you know, we gotta stay 10 toes on top of this stuff. So until then, you know, just keep that, you know, implemented in your, you know, everyday clean, however you want to do it. And just keep being remarkable.
Peace.